In 1652, a group of Dutch settlers from the Netherlands came over to South Africa and colonized it. Eventually, the Dutch settlers decided they would start slavery in South Africa because of the labor they needed. This concept of slavery went on for many years until Nelson Mandela finally decided to change it. Nelson Mandela was born on July of 1918 in Mavezo, South Africa in the village of Kunu. He was originally called Roly Hala Mandela, but that was changed by his kindergartner teacher to Nelson. He was born into a royal family where his dad was the chief. When his dad died, when he was nine, he felt a sense of leadership within him. When I went to school, the lady teacher, Miss Mdingane, asked, what is your name? I told him my African name, Kholitlai. He says, no, I don't want that one. You must have a Christian name. So I say, no, I don't have one. She says, you are from today, you are going to be Nelson. Growing up in South Africa wasn't the best for Nelson because the policy of apartheid limited so many options and made his life rough, not just for him, but for every black there. Apartheid is a rigid former policy of segregating, economically, and politically oppressing the non-white race, which is not okay and caused many problems for the blacks. Inspired by Gandhi, Nelson was determined to change his country into a peaceful place where everyone was treated equally. Ever since he was little, he was highly involved in anti-colonial politics and eventually joined the ANC, the African National Congress. He attended Fort Hare University, where he studied law before becoming a lawyer in Jonesburg. Nelson Mandela was soon kicked out because he was leading a protest around campus. As Nelson grew older, he decided to make a change. He started making more protests and delivering speeches to the people of South Africa. One of his quotes states, No one is born hating another person because of the color of their skin, background, or religion. People must learn to hate, and if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love. For love comes more naturally to the human heart than its opposite. Since the government saw Nelson Mandela as a threat, as he gained power over their people, they decided to put him in prison for five years. However, Nelson did not give up. He started passing around secret documents to form an army against apartheid. Soon, the guards took notice of this and extended his stay in prison from five years to life. 18 out of the 27 years, he was kept on Robben Island, where he was forced to do hard labor. When the government put Nelson Mandela in prison, the people grew angry with him and decided to make more protests and demand to set him free. The president at the time, F.W.D. Clerk, decided to listen to the people and released Nelson Mandela from prison. Once released, Nelson Mandela told about his time in prison and his life's mission. Through this, he changed multiple perspectives about apartheid and segregation in South Africa. How does a man spend 27 years in prison, put there by an oppressor, and come out of that experience with not a heart of stone, not a cold heart, but a heart that is willing to forgive and embrace? How is there no bitterness? Well, I hated oppression. And when I think about the past, the type of things they did, I feel angry. You have a limited time to stay on Earth. You must try and use that period for the purpose of transforming your country into what you desire it to be. And therefore, you had to reject all negative features in your own soul in your blood system and focus your attention on the positive things. I wanted to be known as Mandela, a man with weaknesses, especially because I knew it was not at the contribution of an individual which would bring about liberation mm -hmm. and the trans peaceful transformation of the country. And my first task when I came out was uh, to destroy that myth that uh, I was something other than an ordinary human being.
I had said that you're one of the most humble, well, the most humble person I'd ever met. I will tell you that when Mr. Mandela arrived today, he uh, said to the producer, met with him in the room, and he said, what is the subject of today's show? <laughs> <laughs> and she said, Nelson Mandela, you are the subject of today's show. He goes, oh, all right. You are not even, not, not modest, but uh, a very humble man. I wanted to ask because I think that is the, the characteristic that stands out for you above all of them, that you are a peacemaker inside yourself. And how do we begin, those of us who aren't leading countries but are just leading our own lives, leading our families, come to a sense of truth and reconciliation with ourselves to be a peacemaker? How do you do that? The first thing is to be honest with yourself. You can never have an impact on society if you have not changed yourself. And one of the most important weapons in changing yourself is to recognize that peace, uh, I mean, people everywhere in the world want peace. But humility is one of the most important qualities which you must have. Because if you are humble, if you make people realize that uh, you are no threat to them, then people will embrace you. He spoke about forgiveness, about uh, reconciliation, um, and, and we owe him an enormous debt. If someone had come up to him and said, you are quite glib, I mean, you talk about forgiveness, but you, 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 you have not suffered. All he has to say is 27 years. <laughs> At first, every day we had bleeding hands and blisters. Anything that infringes on your dignity, you resist it. They were instructed to do everything possible to break our morale. Prison made the Nelson Mandela we know today. I asked him the question and he kind of shrugged and he looked at me and he said, I came out mature. The, the young man who went into prison was hot-headed, tempestuous, uh, self-involved, uh, not anything like the Nelson Mandela who emerged and, and prison burned all of those excesses away. People are different to one another. They have been so created. It's an inescapable fact. People feel that it is useless and futile for us to continue talking peace and non-violence against a government whose reply is only savage attacks on an unarmed and defenseless people. After 27 years in prison, Nelson Mandela in 1994 was finally announced President of South Africa. He made everyone equal, abolished apartheid, and showed everyone in South Africa peace and forgiveness.